I'd love to talk a little bit about what it means to have a company and to, it's, it's been a great luxury of my writing You've heard me talk career. about that, you know, I know, because, you know, when you're writing, you have a certain voice in your mind, in, in your head, a little bit of a certain voice anyway, a general idea, even if it's very vague, of the, of what the character looks like. And, and then you go to auditions and Sometimes they surprise you and are wonderful, and sometimes it's just not for some reason, you know, the cut to the chase, the imagine writing for a voice that you're going to actually hear and a body that you're going to actually see, and then you see them do it, and it's just, it's, it's a world of difference. Also, it was wonderful to challenge them to do something that you didn't see, not to take, well, every once in a while, let's be honest, I would just take flat out advantage of something I knew they could nail, you know. Danton Stone, had a moment in a play of Roy London's called Mrs. Murray's Farm, where someone said, uh, go upstairs and do this, and someone said, go to the cellar and, and, and get the potatoes. And he goes, uh, 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 that long, that was the moment. <laughs> I wrote Weston for that moment. I knew he could do that, so I just flat out took advantage of, you know, no one had seen that except me. Oh, so and I, I knew that he was just going so to be funny. absolutely divine in that part. He gave me that entire character. Uh, Tanya said once to Roy London, you were so funny and, and such a bright, you know, he played a professor in something, and she said, I could never, ever play anyone bright. And she said, uh, I can't do comedy. I just don't understand it. So I wrote her this genius who was hysterically funny. I, 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 just, I knew from that moment you had to do it. That I had to do it. I had to say, you know, you just haven't had the part, honey, you know. <laughs> so, you know, hence, you know, hence DK Eric's 